In this PowerPoint, I will introduce you to Microsoft Excel. We'll take a look at the workspace. We'll take a look at um, you know, how to create files, um, save files. Um, we'll take a look at how to enter um, information or data into the cells and how to format the cells. So let's see how far we get in this video. Okay, so first of all, I'd like you to open up um, Microsoft Excel if you don't have it already open. Okay. When you get to that, uh, when you have opened up Microsoft Excel, you might not see this right away. You might be seeing this instead. Okay, so if this is the page that you see. I'd like you to click on blank workbook. You can see next to blank workbook, there are some templates uh, that are ready for you to use, but don't worry, we'll take a look at these later in the course. Right now, I'd just like you to click on blank workbook. And then after that, let's go and save it. We can save it up here under save, or we can go to file and it allows you to save or save as, allows you to save as a PDF, which uh, you know won't take away the functionality of the spreadsheet, but it will be saved as a PDF, which is easier for people to view, especially if they don't have Excel. Um, here you can also print, you can also share it with others. You can also export it into a different format, uh, publish it, and you can close this. All right, so what we're trying to do right now is to save. So let's go save, and you can browse to um, you know, the correct uh, file folder. Okay, so I have one called FDU, and I have one for Info2105, and I'm just going to um, save it in Info2105, and I'll call this class one, okay? And then save it. Okay, so now that is saved, and up here in the title, you can see it's class one, it says it's saved, okay? And when I click on the drop down here, it tells me what the file name is, and you can't change it here, it just gives you the information, and it tells me where this is saved, okay? Um, if there are different versions of it, it'll also show you the version history. If you want to save your document to OneDrive, which is the cloud, and then you can access it anywhere uh, you like, as long as you have uh, internet connection, then you can upload it if that's your preferred way of saving, okay? All right, so next, let's take a look at the workspace. So over here is your quick access uh, kind of toolbar here. So these are things that you can save, uh, I'm sorry, things that you can access quickly because it's very handy at the top left-hand corner. You can save it, uh, you can turn autosave on or off, you can undo, and you can redo, okay? Um, we can't redo right now because there has been no actions performed yet. Now, if you want to customize it, you click on this drop-down arrow here, and you can add other, um, you can add other um, actions here, okay? So let's say if I want a quick print to be one of the quick access uh, tools, then I can click on quick link here. And you can see that, you know, that's very handy now. So if this is a document that I always need to quickly print off, then maybe that would be something I'd like to add in my quick access toolbar there, right? So on the right-hand side, you have the, at the very top, you have the minimize, maximize, and then close, right? Um, the other thing that I have here is the ribbon display options. You might find that your, um, you know, your screen looks a bit different than mine because you have the contextual tabs underneath the ribbon here. So this over here is called the ribbon. Okay, so I have hidden my tabs. There we go. There we go. So now I'm going to show it again. All right, so if you want to hide these tabs, if you think that this adds a lot of, uh, um, sorry, this takes away a lot of your space on the screen, you have a, maybe a small screen and you have a lot of data to work with in your spreadsheet, you can go up here and click on it and you can hide tabs, okay? There we go. Click on that and that hides it. So show tabs. Oh, sorry, show tabs, so it's already showing. Okay, and when you click on each tab, each 
menu item for the tab. Oh, let me just go back here to show tabs and commands all the time. Okay, so I am not too worried about space space on my Excel spreadsheet. Um, I'm okay with showing it all the time. I like to know, you know, what are my options for each of these uh, menu items, right? So, um, so what we have under each contextual tab. So let's take a look at home. Um, this one shows the home tab shows you, um, you know, groups and uh, groups and commands that are most often used. So these are all used very, uh, very often. Cut, copy, paste, of course, right? And then also changing the um, the font size, changing the you know font style and size, uh, changing the color of it, highlighting, um, and things like that are quite. Uh, often used quite heavily used so that's why it's in the home tab and over here we also have you know the alignment of your text um, wrapping text you know merging uh, and centering data uh, you also have you know all these special characters here um, and we'll take a look at all these other ones um, in future classes but just uh, just remember that the home tab shows you all the, you know, not shows you, the home tab has all the commands that are most often used in Excel. Now, of course, you can go to your settings and change what is in your home tab uh, if needed. But for now, just leave it as it is. You just need to be aware of what's on the home tab. Now, let's take a look at the next tab, which is the insert tab. Okay. So in the insert tab, um, you can insert tables, pictures, shapes, charts, um, you know, filters, links and comments and symbols and so on. There's also the page layout tab, which allows you to, um, you know, change the margins, um, grid lines, uh, background images, even change the print area for when it gets printed, what's selected, things like that. Um, next tab, we have the formulas where uh, we'll take a look at again in future classes in more detail. Uh, we'll take a very close look at this. Uh, but for now, just remember that, you know, in formulas is where you can enter uh, formulas that are already kind of set up for you here. Next tab, we have the data in case you're importing uh, data from XML or, you know, CSV files. Um, and then more to do with how you sort and filter that data. We also have the review. Uh, this is where you can add comments, uh, you know, add smart lookup, uh, protect the sheet, protect the workbook, um, you know, allow some edits, things like that, where you can change the setting of your um, spreadsheet to change permissions. Okay. Next, we also have the view, which is how you would like to view your uh, spreadsheet. And we also here have help. Um, and this is where you can, you know, contact uh, support. If you need to contact someone for help, um, you can also suggest features, you know, get a hold of the community if you need to, you know, pick someone's brain or to, if you need something, if you need to share something with the community over here, if I click on help, you can also search for something in particular that you're looking for. Um, Excel just might have it in here for you. All right. And then lastly, we have uh, making it into a PDF. This is where you can create, share, change preferences uh, in the PDF that you're creating. All right. So all in all, let's go back to home here. We we'll just stay here unless otherwise needed. And again, to, uh, just to reiterate, to hide or show, you would go over the top, top right hand corner here. You can, you know, show or hide tabs. You can auto hide the ribbon. Okay. All right, so that is pretty much, uh, you know, the workspace up here. Down here, you can also change the, you know, zooming in or out. All right, and I'll leave it as it was. All right, so that is it for the very beginning intro. Uh, make sure that you read your textbook. Uh, it also covers a few other things that I haven't covered in this video, but also important for you to know.